Hey, my name is Justin, and I am Cohen because I have a couple kittens that are sick, and I'm just seeking some advice. <laughs> nice liberal coat, like really cover it, like really, 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 really. really. Our family believes in learning through our adventures, and no matter where the adventure takes us, we will grow stronger as a family. We are A to Zufelt, living our principled adventure. Justin, Leilani, Kyle, Sydney, William, Sadie, and Charlie. We have kittens, so the other Zufelt's um, cat, June, got kitten, had kittens, and so I'm going to show you where they were born, and then I'll show you where they moved and where a tragedy happened. It's like over the bridge and through the woods. So the kittens were born to this little hollow of a tree. We normally visit them up there. But everybody found out about these kittens and where they hid. So we so June, the mother of seven kittens, which we thought was five, turned out to be two more than we expected. And and she moved. So now I'll show you there. Cat. They're not here. So now they're up there. I'll show you what I mean. So is that how the little kitty has a worm? Yes, my kitten has a worm. Yours? Yes. What one is yours? It's a black one with white hairs all over it. Okay. So this is where the kittens are. Cool, look at that beetle. So they're kind of all in this little trench back here. So, once we found out where they were, thanks to the help of their dog, Daisy, we found out that one of them, which happens to be mine, has a worm. So, today is Sunday, and we are going to go to the store tomorrow for medicine and dewormer, and we're going to keep a close eye on it because I really don't want it to die. So does my mom. Oh, the mom's going to... Oh, there's June. She has a good sniffer. Hey, June. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So did you, did you, you can go. How do you guys figure out? Charlie! Yes. What were you doing? This one is mine. <coughs> So this one is mine, and she has this big hump, and she has a boy. She's very noisy. So I can't figure out a name for mine, and I don't know any good cat names because we haven't really had any cats. So please put in the comments below good cat names because I really would like to know where what some good names are. I was thinking of Tiger Lily from Peter Pan, or Fierce because she's very or whiny, or Peep or something like that because she is kind of looks like a tiger with black and white, just little white hairs. And she's very, very noisy, and she's very, very strong because she has a worm and she's still fighting through that. So, put it in the comments below. Oh my gosh, she fell. Zephyr, I can see your back. Hey, okay, so we have an issue. What we got is we have some new kittens and one of them, Sydney's, what's what's its name? Um, I think since the situation it's in, I'm gonna call it Wormy. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, it has this nasty worm in the underbelly and you can see, like it's just a little growth and there's a little hole and you can see if you kind of 
put water on it, you can see the worm kind of come out and it goes back in. And so we're gonna call the veterinarian right now and we're gonna find out what we can do if we do it on our own or if we have to take it to the doctors. And so let's call them and figure out what we need to do. Hey, my name is Justin and I am calling because I have a couple kittens that are sick and I'm just seeking some advice. So that might not be a worm, that might be a maggot. Oh wow, okay. Okay, so we'll try that and I appreciate your time. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this is a worm or a maggot. But she I was, think I'll call yeah. it Maggie now. But she was saying that the worm or maggot, since it's not white, and it's kind of like a brown red. Yeah, it's like a red. She said brown. it sounds like a maggot, not not a worm. So, um, yeah, let's go grab hydrogen peroxide and my kitten syringe, the kitten, some hot compress, compact, compact, compression, compression, Daddy, whatever it is. Compress. All right, let's go grab it. So, what are you doing up there? Grabbing the kitten. Yeah. All right, make sure you don't touch the infected area, okay? This is. Maggie. And then this is her bed. You look right here, there's a hole, and that's where the worm is inside that. Or maggot. Yeah. Are calling can her I Maggie? Yeah, Maggie. Wait, wait, wait. Daisy should not be here. Yeah, let's put her in the car. Come on, Daisy. Oh yeah, Mom. Why Daisy is following them? Cause Daisy, she could she couldn't have babies, so so she's always following the kittens. So she wants to have babies. Where is it? Where is the hole? Where is the hole? Where's the hole? Um, my my dad will show you, but not yet. Can I see the hole? Has a hole. Oh, it went back in. Poor, poor kitty. Poor. What does the worm look like? Aww. Oh, that must burn. Ow. What is it supposed to do? Is it maggot right now? Oh, that is so sad. Do you think that's enough? Oh, they're hurting it. Here's that. Oh, I can't watch this. Daddy, oh, did you? Stewardship and empathy, what I love about it, it's learning how to take care of something other than yourself. And I love that concept because so much of our life is focused on just me, 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 what is benefits me. But when you have to take care of an animal or another person or another creature and you have to show, take your time and show respect and time and love, that is, there's so many lessons in this, in this concept. Oh, don't put that out. We need, we need. Hey, what's that white thing? Is that the magnet? No, it's just, yeah. so peroxide, when it, it, it activates, it kind of. If there's an infection. No, it's just that kitty still like wet stuff. So yes, it, it does hurt a little bit. Pretend it after to get the phone. Is it gonna die? No, it's a real, so did he go to the vet? If we can hold it. Inside. If it like dies, the then what, then what happens? Know. The butts? Do you think it'll like, do you think this, the, the body guts. will push it out? Oh, what? Like a human body does? Yeah. Like butts? Oh, shh. Don't it oh, hurt. Sh it burns. I thought I saw it. Like this. Did you oh, get it? It's coming out. It's trying to. Oh, that's it. That's oh. it. Is that a work of choosers? Can I take it? Like, wait, you see the one? Yeah. Oh. Ew. Oh. It like looks like a maggot. Now that the maggot. We got the maggot it's out. Yeah. It's. You saw it? Where did you put it, Daddy? Over on the concrete, and I smashed it. Oh, goody. That's so the Vaseline is thrown away. No, keep it because we have to put it back on there tomorrow. This is kitty cat Vaseline. Kitty cat Vaseline. Daddy, it's a girl. Okay, so now head. everybody has to go inside and wash their hands with hot soapy water. So my kitten had a maggot, sadly, and so we took carbon dioxide, we kind of flushed it out, we plucked it out, and then we covered it in 
Vaseline. And so that was exciting. We're lucky that we found it, so then we were able to save it. Empathy. Empathy. I can't do that without.